thank you for watching our videos here keep on lookout and uh thanks to you who are subscribed to mean a lot to us if you haven't yet subscribed um, there is a little red tab at the bottom of the video scroll down click on it you'll be subscribed um we have with us uh, samsung s7 and uh this one blacked out and couldn't power on again now in this video we hope to show you how to open the samsung s7 and then uh, hopefully proceed to fix what the issue is or perhaps figure out and fix what the issue is now to open this phone if you look at it there seems to be no back cover that you would actually snap out or screws that are evident now what happens with this kind of phones the samsung s sorry about that and the samsung s i think from the s6 upwards the battery is located inside the screws are underneath this glass thing so the first thing we'll need to do is unglue this back thing now how we do that is we employ the services of a screen separator which is basically a heat plate with controllable temperature now it also has suction to pull down the screen after the glue has softened so now turn on the heat plate mine was already on set the temperature i've set mine to about 95 degrees maximum it here has risen to 95 degrees and uh, now i'll proceed to place the phone on on the plate for it to heat up now you may notice i'm not placing it entirely there it's because of the camera hump which limits me from doing that <laughs> excuse allergic reaction but um yeah that's what i was saying that camera has a hump on it so the thing can't really sit flat on the hot plate but uh, it's okay you just need to pick up heat so i'll keep it on this platform for about uh, a minute or two I think I'll come back after a minute. I believe our one minute is done. So next thing is to place it over those holes. Those are suction holes that help uh, pull the screen down. To pull uh, that glass down. Uh, we are also pulling the frame upward. So I'll hit the suction button. And you can hear it loud and clear then leave to the phone now I realize at 95 it doesn't soften much so I'm going to raise the temperature to 110 uh, so I'll hit the set button, increase to 110, and then click on set, and it stores uh, the temperature. Now I'll let it rise, and then come back. Let me turn off the suction, then come back. So it has reached uh, 110 degrees, and has been there for one minute now i can turn on the suction then attempt to lift it again this is this is 
strange, even at a hundred ten, it does not want to get up. So now I'm going to force, be forced to take it to one twenty. temperature has been set to 120 degrees Celsius and uh, we let me first turn on soft suction and we are going to wait for it to reach 120 and then at 120 keep it uh, at around uh, the temperature for one minute and then turn on the suction and lift the screen turn on the suction and then lift uh, the body of the phone such that the back glass is sucked and left onto the hot surface or the hot plate of the separate. So now it has hit 120. Now we get to leave it there for one minute and come back. Okay, it is completed the one minute at 120. Now we turn on the suction and lift the screw, the frame, the body of the phone. This phone was never opened before. This is adhesive, it's too strong. I noticed it allowing to lift has managed to lift and that's it so that back remains there and now if you had to notice let me turn off the uh, machine Guy. Yeah, so now we get to unscrew it. Remove these screws. I think you have to get this out of the way. Second one. I think let me unscrew off camera. I have faith that I'm the first person opening this phone and that gives me great courage and hope. Okay, now with that done, with all the screws open, now we'll reach out for this and uh, lift it out. Okay, we'll begin with this this piece right there glue 
still seems to be holding it on the edges but we shall manage I think it's glue from the back glass now that's out mm -hmm. next is this okay that we decided to screw hasn't come out all the way now it has lift that out okay then the screw so it should have been this first before that then this also comes out so this thing in as much as it decided to unglue itself it should have Stay. I think this is the wireless charging. Okay, now with that done, so usually the first thing is to check with the battery and see if its power is there. Now we'll check for the voltage on the battery time no. okay multimeter required set it to voltage mode and reach out for the battery terminals the first and last terminals so that's 2.7 which is below what the phone would require to detect the battery so I'm going to resuscitate it direct charge the battery albeit off camera now let me check for polarity if this terminal and that give me a positive value okay that's negative value that means I have to reverse the probes the black is usually my negative probe for the multimeter okay positive value so I know this side is the positive the red one and this one is the negative so I can now go on to direct charge it or jump start it from an external charger okay let's continue with our video now um, it uh, turns out uh, I went off camera and uh, I swapped out this motherboard and uh, it turns out this phone white blacked out it's because the motherboard was dead and this is the motherboard that uh, was inside there I opened it up and uh, approached here that was some stuff pouring in the fire so I wiped it brought it here and then noticed uh, this part was reflowed so I attempted reflowing but couldn't resurrect it now I have put in another motherboard this is from uh, an s7 that I had that loses network so I decided to use it before to test and you see the phone actually lights up and turns on with that new motherboard so this video was to show you how to open the samsung galaxy s7 edge and uh, the, i think now you know how to do it you basically unglue the back glass after ungluing the back glass there will be screws all over this frames right here unscrew them and then remove them then you'll be able to access almost every internal thing in there now should you have wanted to un change the screen the screen is also removed in a similar manner as to how you remove the bank glass it's by using a hot plate uh, yeah so that's it for today
Uh, it was a simple video on how to open a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and uh, we accomplished that but uh, bonusly we got to figure out that this phone's motherboard is the one that is faulty. I think uh, I will try to dive into this motherboard and see if I can restore it and should I be able to do that I will also bring you that video so subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed um, comment like and as usual thanks for watching phone lookout uh, keeping your phones alive